we start with daily chart just so i want to give a quick update and as we can see based on daily chart the still we are within this correction and the price tag the lowest price of this correction and we can look for the indicators as a divergence but the best thing is if the price could tag the lowest price of this shadow because now the question is whether we should, if we don't consider this one, we can look for divergence. If we consider this one as a part of this correction, we cannot look for divergence. By the way, for me, we don't need to, for, to wait for price to take the lowest price of this correction. If you get any reversal, any opportunity for buy, we'll take it as a long term. And the only thing is we have to see the breakout of this correction. As a long term, we can look for, uh, we're looking for buy and we can look for 22 falling by 27 as a target. But as I mentioned, the best thing is if the price break the, this correction and tag the lowest price of this shadow, which is somewhere around 4.7, it can give us better confirmation for the reversal. By the way, based on daily chart, we don't have any trade setup either for buy or sell. And we move to lower time frame. We move to forward chart. As what we can see here, based on forward chart, the price tag the lowest price of, even broke the lowest price of this correction. Any reversal, any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And uh, based on uh, forward chart, even we can look for 7.3 flowing by 8 as a short term targets. And even based on forward chart, if you put this loan relative to the previous one, if you refer to it in the indicators, we see we have a divergence and as well here. All right. But we should need, we need to consider that what we get here, the drop, the price drop quite sharp. We can expect this one to give, give us one more drop. Any sell is a short term sell. The only times for me, I will look for sell if this one turned to a deeper correction. Rather than that, we are not really interested to look for sell. Any sell will be a short term. But based on forward chart, we don't have any trade setup, either for buy or sell. And in this case, we move to our chart. And even based on one hour chart, as we can see, we don't have any trade setup, either for buy or sell. And we can expect this one to give us one more drop. We are not really interested to look for sell. We're looking for buy, but if you get any opportunity for buy as a reversal, we will take it as a short move flag. At this point, this is the only way we can look for buy. But if this one gives us one more drop, then having entry above this can be an option. Anyway, uh, we are more interested. We're looking for buy, but we have to wait since we don't see any trade setup. And in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.